Hello, welcome, welcome to Quop Talk on ThinkTech. And hello, aloha from Hong Kong. I am in Hong Kong right now, very exciting to be here. And I'm connecting you with a conversation about Hong Kong from a voice from the past. I mean, when I say that, I mean because there are memories. Hold on there. Let me introduce you properly. I'm so honored to have uh, our retired governor, Ab Neil Abercrombie, here with me because governor used to be in Wan Chai, Hong Kong, and has stories about that. Now, I am not going to preempt anything. I just want uh, Abercrombie to come in and share the reasons and how you got to Hong Kong, what it was like during that time, how you broke boundaries in that era in the late 60s, early 70s, and giving us context to, to a, a, a world that many of us don't know because this old Hong Kong is gone and it's been exoticized. And if I don't, if you don't mind me saying kind of eroticized by images of like the world of Susie Wong, if that yep. is anyone's con, you know, um, context to it. So again, uh, Governor Neil, welcome to our show and so excited to hear your stories about how you ended up in Hong Kong and what you were doing there. Here. <laughs> Thank you, because Yes, I got to Hong Kong uh, just about the time you were about five years old. Uh, it'll be well, about 1960. Uh, no, but yeah, about 69, 70, right? So yeah. as a, as a, as a little child, and and by that time, I, that was I was just ending up my third year of traveling around the world, backpack around the world with my with my my buddy and lifelong pal and and the best travel companion ever, uh, Pake Zane, Andy Zane. Okay, wait, Pake. back up, back up. So because everybody knows your legacy as governor. Um, working with you know the politics for many many years, and even at UH getting your master's in so was it sociology and yes. PhD in My American studies. My master's in sociology in in sixty four. Um, uh, then we uh, at sixty, and then I was a probation officer uh, for three years uh, in California at in, in Marin County, San Quentin Prison. Oh. Uh, then back okay. to Hawaii, back to Hawaii to team up with uh, with uh, Pake Zane. And we set off to go across the United States to the March on the Pentagon and and uh, and uh, the the Kerner the Commission on, on on Violence in America in New York and then on to Europe uh, for so six was months. Your, was your purpose to just do the whole youthful exploration, uh, or was it a political motive because you were already into politics then to end up uh, doing these boundary breaking events? You, it was it was a combination, obviously. Okay. The, 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 it's it's difficult for people uh, now who were not have not did not experience the Vietnam War. I mean, for example, right. the war. One of the, the principal war we're focusing on at the moment is Ukraine, and we're all for it. Three cheers. Let's back them up, kind of thing. But but uh, in the '60s, what it was was the Vietnam War that we were all opposed to, and and working every day to try and 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 end. Uh, as well as this, as a, with a now labeled the civil rights movement. Just yesterday, uh, uh, Martin Luther King's speech. The Reverend uh, Martin Luther King gave a speech in uh, in uh, uh, in 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 Washington, and uh, that was celebrated, if you will, just yesterday. And uh, uh, in remembrance, in fact, his son was speaking at the at the Washington Monument at, at, at the Lincoln Memorial. Um, so that was the era. I mean, politics were ever, and there was a draft. That meant when you were 18 years old, you were likely uh, to be drafted to go over and fight in Vietnam. So uh, the, the 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 immediacy of of uh, political activity was there in a very visceral uh, way, seven days and nights a week at that time. So were you not uh, uh, of age to be drafted at that time or is it because you were in the I was, university? No, I would, because I was in my 30s by that time. Ah, uh, okay. And, oh, so uh, you went to Hong Kong when you were in your 30s. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, and and that's one that, that was also one of the motivating factors in, 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 in us leaving uh, uh, was that if, if we were going to do it, if we, were gonna, if we wanted to see the rest of the world, if we wanted to see if the ferment we saw going on in Hawaii and the ferment, political ferment we saw going on across the United States, was actually a phenomenon that was was coursing across the world. We wanted to see it. We wanted to be a part of it. We wanted to to uh, to uh, uh, not just observe it but participate in it. So we thought Absolutely. if we didn't go now, we, we, when when could we? And yeah. 
it, yeah. it may seem again it's, there's a bit of a, a of a surreal element uh to this because we didn't have a lot of money we we backpacked I mean, I, we got we got our motorcycle boots. We got our our, our Le- Levi's. Um, I I literally lived out of a backpack for three and a half years. And that's uh, wonderful. Uh, uh, believe me, I know how to. I'm wash sure your shirts. hair was down to your knees. Oh well, that's the other thing. What we decided on one of the things we decided, <laughs> um, uh, uh, Pake decided that, uh, and I decided that we would we would grow our hair and grow our beards and not not shave or cut our hair until we got around the world. No, now, it, how could it, you? It, do- I, I did it in three and a half years. Pake did, took eleven years to uh, to get back home. Okay, well, you so- know what? This is that's another story because I want to get you <laughs> and Pake together to have a visual storytelling for our yeah. next show. How about that? Yeah. But can we? We need to get our- Andy. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get Andy. We'll get Pake, and uh, uh, we'll get together. And, and I would we'll- love that. Let's t- do that with the whole and, photo. He's, uh, with your hair among down. other things. Crystal, among other things, he's an ace photographer. Okay, I mean, great. He, he, he's, he's a wonderful photographer. So we'll and, do that. We'll do a story journal next time. But today, with yeah. our limited time, let's come yes. back to Hong Kong because right. I am here now. And let me just give everybody a little um, backdrop of uh, Wan Chai and Hong Kong. So, again, I mentioned earlier that uh, Susie Wong was the only marker of this place and era, which is kind of unfortunate because it just really hypersexualized the the image of Hong Kong and that all the women were prostitutes. Um, it was a, an impoverished place that was kind of saved by these uh, white um, saviors, if you will, who came over, like in the movie, who came over and just kind of was enamored by this uh, idea of the Orient at the time. Now, when you came over, um, Let's talk about that. What was your first impression of Hong Kong, and how did you end up in Wan Chai, which all the, all the brothels, kind of the nightclubs and girly bars, which they still are today. I wanted to tell you, oh, you yeah. still have some bars. <laughs> I'm ready. But I'm ready. It's become <laughs> a trendy place for young people. Yes. They have this thing called Wan Chai Wednesdays now here, where all the young clubbers <laughs> used to go to Lan Kui Fong will go on Wednesdays to go for cheap drinks in Wan Chai. So it's still a thriving um, bar hopping kind of an area, but it doesn't, I mean, some of the like little girly bars are still there, but not to the extent of when you went in its heyday. So <laughs> That's right. enlighten us. What was it like? What was your first impression? Believe me, believe me. I wish I would, I, I almost said, I wish I could say otherwise. I actually don't, but I was an observer <laughs> when I was there. I was really? not much less of a, not, I was a participant observer. Let me put it there. I, more, more correctly, I was an observer participant, and I'll tell you why I said that and how I got there and why that is the right description. Please. Um, in the midst, uh, 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 as part of this trick around, tra- tra- trick, yeah, there were some tricks, all right, um, uh, about it, but this trek around the world, uh, Europe to Africa, and uh, uh, including seeing our good friend Barack Obama Sr., whom we went to school with in, at, at the University of Hawaii in 1959 and 60, um, uh, and, and on then to India. And in India, we decided, I decided I was going to c- continue on uh, through Asia and, and back to Hawaii because I was, I was going to start my Ph.D. at the University of Hawaii in the fall of 1970. And uh, Pake decided, once we got to Calcutta, that he was not ready to come home yet. So he backtracked uh, from Calcutta uh, back through Afghanistan, Pakistan, and so on, back to Europe, and became a very prominent uh, participant in the, in the uh, uh, fast lane life of Amsterdam for many years before, oh, he, came, okay. be, before he came back to Hawaii and, and began Antiques Alley over on Queen Street. Go oh, wow. over there, see Pake, okay. everything is there, Antiques Alley. He knows everything about it from his worldwide trip. So I went from Hong Kong then, excuse me, from Calcutta then, uh, to Hong Kong, uh, to- Tokyo, uh, and and then back to Hawaii. The reason so you I was did able the East to Asia part yourself. You were traveling by yourself at that time. At the time, well, I left Calcutta okay. by myself. Okay. Uh, for the first time in three years, and but right. very reluctantly, believe me. Hmm. Um, uh, but but looking forward to getting back to to UH in in, in that fall. Mm. Uh, of 70, in the fall of 70. Now, the reason we're able to do it, Crystal, because here I'm telling you, we backpacked around the world three and a half years. How how could you do that? Well, you know, were we yeah. rich? You know, had we stolen yeah, how money? Did you fund it? Yeah. It was, it, 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 I simply saved money. I did it for about $4,000. Wow. 
four or five thousand dollars. The whole, total. what the, the whole, whole trip. three years? The whole year, because in those days, in those days, you literally could go to to Europe, for example. There was okay. a book by Arthur Farmer called Europe on five dollars a day, and we did it. We, we well, actually okay, so this ate. is the 60s, so give or take, yes. I don't know what that is today. But you could do it. Oh, today it's, uh, it's Europe on $50 or $500 a day, I guess. I don't know. Uh, well, it, it Hong Kong, you could still do cheap. So, so let me yeah, tell, tell well, me. Yeah. But I want to explain. I want to explain something about it. On the road also, it wasn't just us. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of people on the road. Everybody read On the Road, Jack Kerouac, and so on. There was thousands of people backpacking, thousands of people staying in youth hostels, thousands of people staying in pensions all around the world, and all communicating with one another. Letting you know, There's no emails, there's no messages, there's no iPhones, there's nothing. It's all word of mouth and, 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 uh, and underground newspapers. And uh, and people you met on the road who told you where to go, who to see yeah. when you yeah. when you get to Berlin, here's what you do when you get to so right. on and so forth. Yeah. It's who you see. It it was fabulous. It it, it 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 people people were good to one another. Women, there were thousands of women on the road, just like there were thousands of, of guys on the road. Oh really? And I always thought it was gonna be mostly male dominated. No, 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 it didn't work that way. You can say anything they, people can say all they want about so so called hippies. And uh, and the uh, flower children and so on, but but the the ethos attached to that, the the values attached to that, it pervaded the people who were traveling on the road. I suppose there were some some people who were you know sociopathic or something uh, that are out there. I suppose you can find stories of 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 people who were assaulted or something like that. But believe me, it was rare. The the we met, and of course part of the other thing was is we were from Hawaii. We were from yeah. Hawaii. Here's this. Here's Eric the Red. My beard. You know, I think we 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 made a vow not to cut our hair or or shave our beards. So, uh, Pake, of course, he's got a Fu Manchu beard because he could grow it for a hundred years, and it's only a little scraggly beard. Yeah. But he had yeah. the most magnificent, beautiful black oh. hair cascading down we his back. We need these photos. We oh, need yeah, these photos. Yeah. So don't and waste it. Me, We're going to do that. I, but in '62, 1962. I had gone to Lahaina. Just speaking of Lahaina now, I, yes. I, I, it just broke my heart to hear. What, I went to Lahaina for the first uh, uh, Whaling Days contest. They had they, they at Whaling Days in Lahaina. I slept under the under the the uh, the, the banyan tree and was was oh. uh, rocking in a in a chair on the porch of the Pioneer Inn. I won yeah. the Captain's Beard contest in 1962. <laughs> That's so, great. That's and, great. So my beard was my beard was like down to here, and my hair. Was I still had I had hair on the top of my head? My hair was grown <laughs> and it was red, reddish brown. So I looked like Eric wow. the Red, you know, like the wow. Viking. And, of and he looked he looked like Genghis Khan. Not. And so the two of us okay. walking along, they're thinking, "Who the hell are these two guys together?" So wait, okay, Don't sorry. Wait. Wait. So okay, so then uh, we, we we would tell them from we're from Hawaii, and it was magic. It's magic. You know yourself. Even in Hong Kong, you say you're from Hawaii. Everybody wants to talk. Yeah, everybody's got true. a story to tell. Every we, just being from Hawaii was automatic entree to meet everybody, to talk with everybody, to be invited everywhere. And so, and when I left, uh, when I met people in India, uh, one of the women that I met uh, in in uh, in uh, New Delhi, uh, when 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 I was there, she had been with a with a Buddhist nonprofit in Vietnam, and she said, oh, are you going to go? And I said, yeah, we're going to travel. I'm going to, uh, I want to go to Vietnam. I want to go to Cambodia. I want to go to all these places. And then on back to Hawaii, she said, well, you can stay in my place in, uh, in Cholon, in, uh, in, uh, in Saigon. I got there and I got to Cholon. And sure enough, there was the apartment I got in. She said, and you, you, uh, uh, you got to go and stop and see the four, guys in the four psychological operations. John Steinbeck, the author's son, is there. And they'll, they'll love to see you. Which I did, and and they they of course everybody was stoned, everybody was, uh, and, and 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 none of the GIs who were out fighting could stay in Saigon because if they saw what was going on in Saigon, they'd have completely revolted. So everybody yeah. was stoned, and everybody went on R and R. Everybody in, in, in order to keep keep the, the the GIs, most of them were teenagers, fighting. They gave everybody R and R, rest and recreation, and yeah. they all went to Hong Kong. Got Some it. went to okay. Japan, but they all went to Hong Kong. So when I got there and met all these guys, they said, 
oh, you're going to go to Hong Kong. You've got to see Pearl. You've got to see you know, all these all these English names. For, the girlfriends for of the, the girlfriends. sailors. And they did. They wrote one another. They had letters to one another. They gave presents uh, to them. I, I took presents. I took perfume. I took I took letters. I took money and, and uh, all in my backpack. And when I got to Hong Kong then, I went yeah. right to the address. And that's how I got to Hong Kong. I stayed with everybody who worked on the street, who worked the hotels, who worked the clubs, because I met half a dozen, or well, more than that, but there was about half a dozen who took me in. And So and you stayed, wait, 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 let's clarify. You stayed at the, the brothels. Of no, the I stayed at the apartment of the, of the, of the, the, the uh, well, of the, I want to say sex workers of the, 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 the prostitutes. Yeah, but, you know, I, I'm not trying to be, uh, uh, no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be dainty about it. It wasn't like that. This was this was their work. This was how they were supporting their kid brothers, for example. This is how they were supporting their families. This it 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 it, it, it it's not like it, it, you're right. Hong Kong was poor. Let me tell you. In, in those days, there was the the the, the Taipans. You know, there was and the the, the 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 rich side of uh, 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 yeah. commercial side but one shy and 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 in hong kong itself uh if you were female and you weren't born in into a class that 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 was prosperous and so Correct. on let me tell you it was tough and uh and but the money that came in to hong kong then through the GIs, because they spent everything. They didn't know whether they sure. were going to be killed when they went exactly. back. They, exactly. And, and, and so they, they literally had girlfriends. That's what I wanted to say. Yes, yes, they, 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 they did. Prostitution was there. Sex working was there. But the relationships that I connected with, the women that I connected with, they were the girlfriends of these guys. No, they maybe had 27 boyfriends, you know, in, in rotation yes. or right. something. But yes. that's the way they thought of it. That's the way they thought of it, by the way, and and that's the way uh, um, uh, the the men thought about it. They were their girlfriends. There was I never heard I never heard a word of sarcasm or 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 condescension or or uh, crudeness from any of the GIs that I connected with with the women that they had. Uh, uh, it, it was not. They but were it's their still, girlfriends. It was transactional, though, right? Oh yeah. Of course so they was. knew their place. They basically knew it was a short-term relationship. They wanted to yes. both mutually enjoy each yes. other. You are human in a place when the world is crumbling and you want a little yes. love. That's right. And the ones who didn't, who couldn't do that, in Saigon, there were, believe me, this is not written up about, as I say, I'm working on a, a book on this, of, yes. uh, um, uh, of the GIs, and I met some of them. They, they connected with Vietnamese girls. Yeah. They connected with Vietnamese and they, they, they went AWOL and they, they went as what, what people said, they went native in Saigon they they and stayed. they were all protected. And every, every GI that was there in Saigon protected all these guys, never ratted them out, never said where they were yeah. or anything else. Yeah. And let me tell you something, the, 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 the authorities, uh, one of the reasons, again, that we, we, we uh, Vietnam was such a, a, a farce uh, and, and, and the lies that got told about it are incredible. Um, mm. the, the, the authorities didn't search for him. They didn't want to search for him because they didn't want that coming out. And it yeah. was interesting that the, that the media didn't. So anyway, that's who, that's who, that's how I got to Hong Kong. And that's where I stayed. Okay. And the way I earned my keep yeah. when I, when I went to see him, I, I stayed, so I stayed in the apartments. Yeah. So and, you're, you know, and the girls, right. the girls would, would they be, you know, trying on dresses and doing makeup, helping each other, uh, the supporting like the one particular one where I stayed the, the, the most, she was she was uh, um, uh, taking her money and she was supporting her teenage brother who wanted to be a musician. She was paying for his music lessons and all the rest of it with the money sharing. Now the way, the, and what I, the reason I said I was a, an observer, uh, participant observer is my relationship with all of the girls there was as the messenger from their boyfriends. Right, I, and that's kind of why you had the safety of being able to stay there, and you yes. were just a neutral and, character. Yeah, I was neutral, but, but, and by choice too. Believe me, to me, it was very, it was, it, it was formidable. 
I mean, wait, I were you I'm not attracted to any of the girls? Oh, sure. Uh, yes, I was because I got to know them as human, you know, as, right. as people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, I was. But uh, I had long since made up my mind uh, not to, only once was I ever in a position, it was a time in India where I thought, I wonder if I want to stay here with this, yeah. with this lady. And, right. uh, um, um, but no, because they were professionals after all. And yeah. And so, uh, I, okay, it, it but, may sound strange. I was, I was never, te- I was never stimulated in that sense. Okay, I, okay. It, it, for a good, pretty good reason. What they yeah. asked me almost right away, they were very polite to me and so on. Oh, um, uh, Neil, you, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jerry, he's, he's, he's my good friend, and I, I'm so happy with him and so on. And I, I just wonder, you know, maybe you could accompany. Would you like to go with me? To, you know, to this a hotel, one of the big hotels. And so on. One day, and I thought, well, I said, but I don't have the clothes. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I got my <laughs> You're just a starving I, student. I didn't have yeah. my dress jeans with me, right? And and so on. She said, no, 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 no. That's all. That's all right. That's fine. You. Are. I said, really? I don't know. And here's she's good. What is it, Shang Sam? You know the yeah. split mm-hmm. dress. I yeah. mean, gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous. Come it on. was a sign of the People, time. It they was talk beautiful. about. Wait a minute. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, people can talk about Susie Wong, you know, Nancy Kwan and, and Susie Wong and so on. Well, let me tell you something. You got to be pretty cold hearted or, or have something wrong with you if you run into Susie Wong and you say, oh, OK. <laughs> right. I mean, it's impressive. So here I am in my my leave. I, 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 I got I washed my shirt, you know, I, I kind of <laughs> brushed my beard put my hair into a ponytail and so on. And I go out and I thought, oh my God, how the hell are we going to even let us in the place? Well, what happened? So you did go out. You did go out with the girls. Yes. Okay. Every, almost every day. Had them well, in their arms and, and took in them the out. Oh, that's in the a lovely. You know why? Because they couldn't get into a hotel or the big restaurants yes, without a male they had that escort. In the too. They had to have a male escort. And yes. I was a male escort. So I would okay. go into the hotel with them, and and of course they they had their arrangement with the door men and so on and so sure. forth. Sure. But I could I, I went and it's, and when I went in, I escorted them into the bar or into the lounge or wherever it was, and then I left because they were making their assignations and so oh, on wow. at that time, right? And so during the day, during the day, they took us over. Uh, oh God, I ate. I, I would get the ferries That's over to what is it, Lantau? What's the island? Yeah, uh, yeah, Lanta right? or Lama. There's several. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and all but, for the right, restaurant. So you had you enjoyed the flavors of local food and all yeah. the local little side alleys and the ferries and all the stuff yes. that was wonderful and, in that time. I could go there. I was only holiday. I, every once in a while, I see GIs. You know, uh, mm. uh, 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 clearly on our only non GI. I, I was the only holiday because I was with he, the, the the ladies knew everybody. They knew everybody. They. You know, and and where they, wherever we went, it was oh hey you know this and and and, and, and you know I was I was obviously the the GI's uh, uh, contact for for them so I yeah. we went everywhere including the clubs at night oh it's crystal come on I don't so know what they're you're doing you're talking in still Wan Chai you still talking the Wan Chai district or were there clubs oh, in different yeah. areas. No 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 I, we, we, we went we, we went during the day we could go different places you know because yeah. they, during the day they didn't dress up. But During do you think trade. people, if you were not what, if you're not Holly, you're not a white guy, they yeah. wouldn't have treated you the same way. Oh no 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 no! I, I, this was strictly because I was Jerry's friend, or I was Roy's friend, or I yeah. was John's friend, and uh, and uh, and I was I was I I was their connection back to them. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and they were happy. They were happy that they were remembered. You know that 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 it was. It, I know it, it's hard to try to get across. Everybody has their dignity. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, it, it was odd. And I suppose people could say, no, no, you're seeing what you want to see. You don't want to see the degradation and all the rest of it. But that's not the way they looked at it. And okay. I'll tell you, it's not the way the GIs looked at it. Well, tell me this, because we only have a couple of minutes left. Oh, sorry. If you could give an impression, just paint a picture of yes. something that was etched in your mind of that era, just present us with an image. The or image, seen. oh, I, I, of course, uh, China was always on my mind. We had tried okay. to get into China from Egypt, for example. Uh, we tried to get a visa. Everywhere we went, we tried to get a visa to go into China. 
And uh, we never could get it, never could get it, never oh. could get it. And when it got to Hong Kong, we went up to the border. We had took day trips, you know, up to yeah. the to the border and so on all around. And, uh, and of course, uh, uh, you know, you're dealing with Mao Zedong, you're dealing with the Red Guards, you know, you're dealing with all this kind of, 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 of context that's disappeared out of people's consciousness now. And I thought to myself at the time, and of course, I met, I met uh, British uh, um, 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 police, you know, the, who, 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 who ran Hong Kong because they would go it's to these colonial, clubs. a very colonial place. Oh, you know, there were clubs where, where it was kind of an unwritten, unwritten, you've probably heard of this. It was unwritten that white men and women and, oh, yeah. and Hong Kong folks could go to the clubs and they were listening to Aretha Franklin or whatever it was and dancing and, and so on and so forth. And yeah. then when they left the club, you know, then it was back to the it, It's called the Kai Tech Agreement, where actually a lot of expats would go over to a lot of Southeast Asian places and yes. bring girls or go with, play, but there was the mum the word. It was coded, you know, it was called yes. the Kai Tech Agreement. You were, so. you're exactly, I, didn't, I didn't remember the phrase, but uh, you're, you're exactly right. And of course, I got I got into it, people, because I was because I would come in with these gorgeous women, right? You, and I said, "Who yeah. the hell is this guy?" Because I didn't have a suit, I didn't have a tie, I obviously wasn't one of the one of the the cops. I didn't say they were corrupt, but let me put it this way: everybody had a kind of understanding, right? And as yeah. long as the girls weren't hustling in the in the club and so on, then then the, I, I met police lieutenants and and colonels and you know. You see? Neil, yeah. this is the brilliant thing about your position, kind of like occupying this liminal space. You were like, yeah. you weren't a GI, you weren't a local boy, or or, or you weren't an Asian female who was susceptible to a certain type of work because of the, the opportunities at the time. Yeah. But I want to say that you brought us pictures and portraits of a time that we really often don't get to hear. So I really, really appreciate this. And, and it was I'm very limited. Now. It was very it, limited because it was limited literally to the Vietnam War. Right. When that ended, it all ended. Now, it's so God complicated during that time that you just you were there at an era yes. that was so significant and complex and, and safe and dangerous at the same time. And oh, yeah. I just love that you had that freedom and the free spirit to do this. And I you broke boundaries back then and you're still breaking boundaries being a region <laughs> at the UH system right now. I'm sorry we don't have any more time, but we're gonna do okay. this again. Please, we'll get Andy's name. We'll, okay? we'll get Pake's right, name. We'll get Pake's name. All right, we'll do that. Okay. And we get the, Thank the you so thing. much for your sharing. You're the Thank best, you. Crystal. Thank you very much. Aloha. Aloha. Shay Shay. <laughs>